Hello and welcome to video number 3 from our MT5 tutorial videos guys. So in this video we're going to cover um, some of the basic functionalities and basic navigation around the platform. Now the very first thing we need to do is go ahead and log into our account. So what's the process? Here we go and choose broker. Register with the broker and they're going to send you an email containing login, password and uh, server. Now, in order to log into your actual account where your money is, and you, you need to click File, Log into Trade Account, and fill in the information right here. Okay, that's all. Then you click OK, and you need to see right here whether you're connected or not. As you can see at the moment, we see that small um, check mark sign which says we have a connection and there is actually data being transferred, right? And if you click on that, you actually hover over it and you'll see that there is currently ping of 46 milliseconds. So basically, uh, that status right there is telling you, all right, you're connected, you're all set, you can now use the platform. That being said, let's move on to the top of the chart here and the platform. Pretty standard menu where you'll find all the options, uh, which are more or less self-explanatory, right? We have new chart, open, deleted, uh, and so on and so on. So basically here we don't need to spend too much time on these things because it's again, pretty self-explanatory what they do. Now, what I would like to show you before we move on is the visuals, okay? First of all, you log in, then you gotta make sure um, that you feel comfortable inside this environment, which means the visuals of the actual chart because everything else on the site is uh, just here to help you in any given stage to do something for a second, right? Load a new graphic or draw a trend line or so on. But the main um, factor and the main thing that you're going to focus on is the actual charts, which means we gotta make sure the charts are set up properly the way we like them to set them, right? Uh, so what I did here is clicked on the maximize button, which is going to push the chart and maximize it. And now I'm going to be looking at one chart only. Right clicking right here, go to properties and starting from the common tab, you have all these options you can play with. Now, the most important in my opinion is first of all, to select whether you're going to use bars candlesticks or line charts. If you click on that or any other option, you have a preview window which is going to tell you and show you what will happen to the chart once you change it, right? I like candlesticks, so I'm going to leave mine to candlesticks. Um, basically, go ahead and play with these options, okay? All of them, for example, I don't like grid, so I'm going to remove that and make sure you set up your charts in a way that makes you absolutely comfortable to trade them, all right? Because you're going to stare at those charts for a long time and you must be comfortable with them, okay? In the color scheme, uh, you have the option to change basically the way and uh, the way that the chart looks and the colors. So let's say you want to have white background instead of black, you're gonna put here white and the foreground, you gotta change to uh, black in order to see the numbers, right? We just do it vice versa. For bar up, we can go ahead and put something darker, which could be lime green, for example. For bar down, we can go ahead and put red, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, you can play with all this. We are not going to spend too much time on it. It's just the idea here is to show you how to do the things yourself, right? So that's about uh, the visuals. The context menu, when you right click on the chart, gives you a lot of options as well. Options that you can see on the top also. Uh, so that's about the visuals. Then we have this menu on the top, the toolbar, which you're going to use almost all the time, guys, right? This toolbar is absolutely customizable and the defaults that you're going to see here could be changed at any given minute. How do we do that? Well, very easy. We right click on it, 
we go ahead to click on customize now and this is what you can see okay those tools on the left side are not yet available okay they are here but they are not shown on the top what you see on the right hand side is actually uh, the toolbar so let's say i'm not using this channel i can go ahead and remove it okay i'm not using uh, i don't know text that often so i can go ahead and remove it i'm not using arrows i'm going to remove them as well what do I use is, for example, Fibonacci expansion. So I'm going to click on this, click insert, and now I have Fibonacci expansion as well. You can also change the order of the buttons. So let's say I want to push uh, the lines to be at the bottom. I select it, I click down, and vertical line is now at the bottom here, which means on the very right side. I want to push the horizontal line at the bottom, boom, there you go. Let's put this one here so we're more organized. Okay, so you can play with those. Uh, let's say you use rectangles. Often you can include them as well. Okay, you use anything else, go ahead and add it to your shortcuts. Click close and boom, we have it. Um, another very interesting and useful information going to left to right here is those two. The crosshair is uh, helping you measure where you stand on the chart and how many pips, basically the X and the Y, right? So once you click on it, if you go vertically, you can measure the price differences, okay? You'll notice that the, um, uh, on the very left-hand side, the first number is the actual price, in the middle is the number of bars from the selection towards the current crosshair position okay you can see how the middle part is changing the bars and if i go up and down i'll see the number of points and the actual price so this thing is very useful and handy when you're drawing uh, not drawing but when you're navigating around the chart uh, let's say you want to check if there is a breakout of a trend line for example right instead of going and drawing an actual trend line you can access uh, the crosshair by clicking the scroll button on your mouse okay it's absolutely the same thing and boom you can measure a trend line immediately and see where the breakout was without actually drawing the trend line okay so very very useful feature uh, then the actual drawing buttons inside this toolbar well those work pretty straightforward uh, if you hover over any of them, you see what the thing is going to do. So this is going to draw a rectangle, draw a trend line, draw a vertical line, etc, etc, etc. How does it work? You just click on it, push the button and start drawing, right? Once you're ready drawing, release the button and there you go, you have it. Now, another thing is when you draw objects on your chart, you see these three dots right here. That means this line is currently selected and it's available to be modified. Okay, you can move it or uh, you can extend it, decrease it, etc. etc. Once you're finished with your drawings, okay, let's say we're drawing the trend line here, boom, and you don't want to click on it by accident and move it, you double click on it on the actual line and you'll see the dots disappearing. Now I cannot move it, I cannot do anything with this one, okay? If I would like to uh, delete it or move it again, just double click once again and now it's movable. That applies to any given object you might be using inside MT5, okay? Selected, unselected. Editable, not editable, right? So that's about uh, the drawing tools very useful features here you can find also uh, moving forward save the active chart data as a picture so let's say you're drawing something and you'd like to share it with someone else boom click on this one or go to file and you can use it here save as picture as well same story these two buttons are telling the chart to move or to shift okay the first one is going to shift the chart from the right border 
or be right here right next to it usually most of the traders do it like that so you have a bit of space it's purely visual thing uh, for us so depending on uh, whether you want to enable it or not that's the option here the next one is going to scroll the chart always to the right side which means if I start going backwards once a new tick comes boom the chart will be immediately uh, brought back to the end if you uncheck this option then you can go back and uh, well basically go back in history without the chart being pushed to the left side and now if I click it boom I come to the most recent data available uh, this is how to arrange the windows so again it could be any way you want this way it will be uh, arranged in a way that is not going to overlap if you would like to follow multiple things at the same time these two buttons you're going to use also all the time zooming in zooming out pretty self-explanatory so no need to spend too much time there and if you'd like to change between the type of uh, candles lines etc you can do it from here by default you have <coughs> excuse me these three buttons as well so that will change the price to line candlesticks and bars and of course the new order button this is the place where you will be um, opening new orders okay but we're going to talk about that in the next videos auto trading enabled or disabled they have placed this button right here uh, because we do use as traders a lot of tools which are helping us for example expert advisor that opens trades for us or manages trades for us and it's very useful to have it right here uh, and see whether this thing is enabled or not at the moment it stopped you can see the red button if i click on it it will be enabled so let's leave it unticked as for now these buttons here uh, we're not going to cover at that stage they are not really relevant to us show symbols okay this is also an option where you can play with the symbols bars and ticks this is also something you don't really you don't really need to worry about um, that one would be a shortcut button to manage the profiles okay same thing you have right here so instead of going to file you can manage your profiles from this one and here you can open a chart again shortcut button now going down to the market watch list okay this is the place where you will see um, all the pairs all the cfds all the stocks basically whatever asset the broker is offering you will find it here by default you only see a few forex pairs but if you right click on it you'll see that once you go lower you can say hide all show all or you have predefined sets of groups okay so as for now we're just going to click on show all and then boom i have a much much bigger list right here okay the navigator is the place where you're going to find your indicators okay this is very useful when you start adding indicators to the chart let's say you would like to add i don't know a simple moving average 200 period you can go ahead and change the color to yellow click ok you have the ma so kind of shortcut um, on the left hand side instead of going to insert indicators etc 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 and do the same thing right so this is where you can find the accounts indicators expert advisors and scripts all right so indicator is very useful as well uh, at the very bottom we're going to find the toolbox okay or the terminal and this is the place where you will have basic information about your account inside the trade tab okay which is the probably most important part you will see any running positions or any pending orders which are sitting here waiting to be triggered then we have the exposure details okay what have you been trading uh, what currency pairs or other instruments you're exposed to etc etc basically statistics inside the history tab you will find um, all the positions which were closed 
you can find all that info right here and get more from it. News tab, clearly what it does is uh, give you news, mailbox, you get notifications there, calendar company and all these things we don't really need to cover at the moment. Uh, maybe one important and interesting part would be the market one where you can see everything which was posted by coders. Uh, is right here available to you so you can click on anything and install it and start playing with it on the chart immediately without actually going to the website uh, so that's about this one as well drawing uh, now one very important thing also which we missed to show in the beginning is adding here the time frames by default time frames are hidden so basically go ahead and click on the toolbar here and select time frames and that will give you the time frame options and shortcut buttons as well also very interesting part is that if you click on these dots here you can go ahead and move these panels around the toolbar okay so in order to save some space i'm going to put them here i still have a lot of space up to the top so no need to uh, make a second line below it and when it comes to time frames, just add this button and then you can switch between time frames pretty easy and it's kind of convenient thing, right? Convenient feature. So um, that's pretty much about the basic navigations. We covered the visuals and the basics of the visuals. We covered how to draw. We covered zooming in, zooming out, types of charts we can do. Okay, where is the market watch? how to add indicators or scripts or export advisors, how to log into our account, account and so on. So that would be all for this video, guys. Um, looking forward to the next one. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you.